working of a computer system the three main activities of a computer system are input process output input taking input through input devices storing in memory process the execution of data and instructions in alu output displaying or showing process data in a location depending upon program instructions all the above activities are performed by the cpu the control unit decides when to take input from the input device and store in the main memory unit when required the data is sent to alu to perform calculations as told in the program after calculations it decides where to store the process data this is called the block diagram of the computer computer memory computer memory is measured in terms of bytes one byte is capable of holding one character each information is represented within the computer memory using binary digits 0 and 1 a bit a combination of 8 bits make a byte types of computer memory there are two types of computer memory primary memory and secondary memory primary memory is again of two types ram and rom the storage devices are the secondary memory that store a large amount of data and software permanently primary memory is temporary while secondary memory is permanent cpu is also known as system unit input devices and output devices are the peripherals attached to it primary memory the primary memory is the main memory of the computer that stores data and instructions for processing it communicates directly with the cpu there are two types of primary memory ram and rom ram random access memory random access memory stores data and programs that are currently being used by the computer for quick access by the computer the ram can be read from and written onto therefore it is also known as read or write memory its contents are lost when the computer is switched off thus it is a volatile or temporary memory rom read only memory read only memory stores startup instructions for booting the computer system the rom can only be read from and not written onto information is permanently stored onto rom and cannot be changed the contents are not lost when you turn off the computer thus it is a non volatile memory secondary memory the primary memory cannot permanently store a large amount of data so we need a permanent storage the secondary memory can store as much information as you need some storage devices are hard disk compact disk cd dvd etc you will learn more about secondary memory in the preceding chapters microprocessor the microprocessor is also known as cpu it is the main chip in the computer that performs millions of calculations every second the speed of a computer system depends upon its microprocessor intel i3 i5 i7 dual core core 2 duo c2d are the commonly used microprocessors these days motherboard the motherboard is the main circuit board of the computer where you plug in your microprocessor cpu memory and other cards 